Hello everybody, this is Val with This Is How You Do It. I just got out the shower and I did a wash and go with conditioner. I washed my hair with conditioner and I put some Equal Style Gel on my hair and I'm rubbing it in. And I'm doing my hair today. Um, my son just got in. One of my sons, the ones you, one of the ones you haven't seen, I have four kids. Uh, Alex just came from uh, California. He, he used to live there and he transferred his job to Florida. So he got a state job uh, in Florida. And um, we're so happy that he's so close now. Because it took three days to ride to California if we drove. Mm -hmm. And he came in. He surprised us. And um, it's been so long since we saw his car because he usually fly here. And I looked out the window and uh, I said, well, it's a car in the yard. And then, you know, a, a black Lexus. And I said, I don't know who car that is. I thought it was uh, maybe Vince and them because they said they was going to get a new car. <laughs> and then he came to the door. He rung the doorbell. He didn't just come in. Willie went to the door. And he was so happy. I screamed. And, and then he told us when he came in that it was a surprise. He didn't make it home um, when Vincent had the baby because he was in the process of having his job transferred and moving down and getting settled in Florida and stuff like that. And he drove down from Florida. And he's just three hours away from us now. And we are so excited, y'all. So excited. So excited. It's just like when you pray for for something, it seems like God overshower you with things, you know. Of course the devil mad and he tried to mess, but he can't mess up God blessing, right? <laughs> no, when when something for you, the devil can't take it away from you, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm just, I'm just praising God right now. I know I haven't been on in a few days. I've been doing picture slides. Mm -hmm. That's my way with meditating and praying, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, I told y'all, what did I do to motivate myself? I listen to some good music sometimes. And then when I listen to that good music, it get into my head and I start meditating on it. And then it get into my, my spirit and I start thinking on it and 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 saying it over and over again so though that music that i played for y'all on my two uh picture videos that's that was for me that was to inspire me and if it inspired somebody else i just thank the lord for that too because you know you can you if I'm, I'm finna go like when you talk about preachers now preachers say sometimes people think when they preach the word it he be preaching on folks in the audience but don't you know the when a preacher preached the word it hit him before he it hit the folks in the audience Yep. God deal with the man of God first or the woman of God. And then just be, and then when he deal with him or her, it ended up blessing somebody else. And then if it's you, you say amen. No, if it ain't you, you agree and you say amen. And then and then if he hitting so hard, you say, oh man. And then when it hits you, you say, ouch. Amen. Oh man. Or, ouch. Yeah. That was a sermon one long time ago, T. Long time ago when I heard that sermon. Amen. Oh, man. Oh, ouch. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking. And when I get excited, I do a lot of talking, y'all. Y'all know that, though. Y'all have been around there long enough to know that. I got my hair laying down today, y'all. That's what the gel do to it when I put, my, put it on heavy. May go a little fishing today. I don't know if we're going to go fishing today because... You know, it's kind of last minute thing and we have to get ourselves prepared because you got to have a fishing license in Alabama, y'all. Mm. Yeah, even on your own property. So, um, we may go, we may go today. If not, I will film that for y'all and let y'all see where we at. If we do, I will film that for y'all and let y'all see where we at. And it's four minutes into the video. I'm going to leave my hair alone. The girl got her eyelashes on already. See, I'm getting up early this morning. Well, 
We slept a little late because we stayed up late. It's 7.23 right now. But um, I'm going to get myself together. I'm up before both of the men, of course. And plus, you know, since he's so close now, he may go up and see Vincent and them baby, too. Or maybe Vincent may get so excited and come here. Who knows? <laughs> That's big brother home, you know? This is one thing we've been praying for for a long time. Alex has lived in uh, California all of his adult life. And we just so glad he's home now. And he's in his 30s now, so. Yeah. I'm going to let y'all see him. He look like really tall, handsome. Mm -hmm. Lots of braids. They're really dressed. They, they, they freshly twist. But y'all get a chance to see him. His braids down his back. You know, Vincent braids is like right here. And uh, his dreads, Vincent dreads are right here. Alex dreads down his back. You know, he's older. He had them longer. I'm not going to put no gloss on it because lipstick coming off on the cup is so tacky. At least I think it's tacky. Your girl sip pretty when she got a lipstick on, honey. And then she'll use a straw if she drink a liquor. Because I think it's so tacky for lipstick to be on a cup. Now, I have used that lipstick that don't come off. And I like it too, but sometimes it dries your lips. Y'all ever had that? Mm-hmm. I'm still in my neutral palette. Say, Val, when you gonna come out the neutral palette? Until Val feel like she feel like some color. Then she will put on something different. But until then, she gonna stick with her neutral palette. Okay? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. God is so good to us, y'all. He is so good. He is so good. And your girl ain't saying she this or that. She, and she does talk about the Lord because she loved the Lord. And she was born with a natural instinct that you fear something. You fear. You fear your mom and daddy. And then there's, there's, there's something bigger than both of us. All of us. Then you learn as you get older. Why you have that natural instinct in here from right from wrong that's why i don't understand people today i said when i was little i had an instinct of knowing of right and wrong i don't understand why kids don't have that now you don't talk to your mommy in a way you don't talk to your dad in a way no matter whether they you think they right or wrong you just don't do that i had that as a child some kids now they talk to their parents like Like they cussing out a strange on the street. I ain't never understood that. It used to scare me when I hear kids talk like that. And you got a right to be scared. Because what the Bible say about folks like that? That's one of the commandments. They ain't said. That's one of the commandments. Ooh, I pray for folks when they do that. When I hear a kid talking to that parent like that, and then they so grown, you can't even tell them to shut their mouth. And you, I just get to pray, and I say, Jesus, bless them. Lord, save them. Ooh, Jesus. But you got to pray for folks like that. Because, you know, they in danger of hell fire. Because God don't like you disrespecting your folks now. Mm-mm. I don't care what you think about them. Let God deal with them. 
that's just like um when um when you leave a church if you don't like what's going on in that church find you another home don't be disrespecting the, the man of god in his house if you don't think he doing the right thing then you go somewhere else you go somewhere else and you let man take care of his his man. That's the men of God. Let men let God take care of his man. He gonna do that. You know, and the Bible tells you not to put your mouth on the man of God. So you better keep your mouth off the man of God. I don't know why I said that. Maybe somebody need to hear that. It says, "Touch not my prophet, prophet." It says, it says "And do my anointing no harm." Touch not it. Touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. I think that's how they say that. If y'all don't know, and if I say it wrong, look it up. Look it up. What God say with not the man of God, y'all better leave him alone. Or the woman of God. Keep your mouth off of them. You don't like what they're doing? Go to another church. Matter of fact, you'll be better off if you ain't go at all until you get yourself together. Till you can find a place where they doing everything like you want it done. And where is that? Hmm. I'm just talking, y'all. Mm. If it's if it's you, if it ain't you, just say amen. And if I'm going too hard, I say, oh man. Mm. Girl, you're getting folks too hard today. Oh, if you just say it's you, say, ouch, I need to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we do that. Now, like I said, that was not on my mind, period. It just came out. And if it ain't you, it ain't you. And if it is you, that's your warning. Warning before judgment. Right? By treating your mama wrong, treating your daddy wrong, and by putting your mouth on the man or woman of God. That's your warning. Because I had no reason to talk about that. None whatsoever. And warning me for what? Judgment. He warned you first. And this is Val. But well, this is how she do it. And she gonna get off this thing. Fix some breakfast for those beautiful men in the other room and enjoy their company. And I will talk to all you beautiful people later. Bye-bye now.